and, and around each other. It's it's a crazy, crazy experience and just solidifies how much I love this freaking show. Uh, how how um, how I feel like so lucky to um, have been a part of it, especially like this. Um, gosh, I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> um, uh, this was a I don't know. This this was a really, like awesome project to be a part of. I know it's affected so many people. One of one of my favorite parts about Demon Slayer, I mean, it was a it was a huge thing. Like recording it, and obviously as a as a job uh, in being in like this awesome anime, uh, recording this cool part. I was super stoked for it. The thing that means the most to me, though, of this entire experience doing this is honestly meeting all of y'all. I, I don't mean to like say that as like a cheesy thing, but seriously, the way in which it affects other people and, and, and the way in which it like touches our lives. And all throughout this, there's so much, especially in Mugen Train and throughout all of Demon Slayer that touches upon, um, you know, it's, it, it's swords and demons and super freaking cool, but it's also about our humanity and how special that is. Uh, our our relationships with each other, with our friends, with our family. This hit me in a huge way. Um, I'm, I'm a brother. I have brothers. I'm, I'm, I'm a Senjuro myself. <laughs> but don't think I'm not drawing upon that uh, and when I'm going into the booth like we all are. This is, this especially hits in a huge way for me with Rengoku. When we see his father, when we see his mother, all of those things, I think, are what make this show really special, is that it, it does center around, like, a lot of that that we can all relate to. And, uh, and you know, pushing forward and, like, even the battle with Akaza, jeez, it just hit me again, where it's like, it could be so much easier in life, but we don't take the easy way out because it's not the right way. And that's something that Rengoku did that I kind of wish I could wake up and do every freaking day. Um, and I think it's such a wonderful reminder that this show gives us uh, from time to time. You know, there's so many different lessons and ways in which it touches us. And Tanjiro, my favorite freaking character in, in the show, he's like the emotional core. And, you know, he's just uh, that that part where everyone like leads him to the to the spiritual core. I, I break down at that too because I'm like, oh my god, this is, this is like the protect Tanjiro. Don't let him fight any more demons. He is the best of us. Um, but it's it's stuff like that. It's like still pushing and being a better part of yourself. And even Tanjiro, like I feel that way where he's like, I feel like every time I punch through a wall, there's another one, and I hear all my heroes on the other side. And I want to go join them, and I can't seem to figure out how. And and the way in which a, a show like this or characters like this can give us the strength to punch through our own walls in life. And I've seen it from so many people that I've met over the past year and a half, and, and I feel so freaking lucky. I, I, um, so thank you all. I really appreciate it. Woo! Tasty! <laughs> <laughs> Hope y'all had some tasty food <laughs> today.